like about myself is that I am trying to get better. Also, this sign I made in our class when I was a senior in high school, and this one that my best friend Tabby made for me just because she loves me. Those are just things in my own. I like that I'm trying to get better, that I'm trying to not feel terrible all the time because I'm prioritizing both my physical ride the bus together and talk for like a solid half hour which was really really nice um, because we don't get to see each other too often he just goes to Pitt which is a different school in Pittsburgh and even though we only live like two blocks away from each other we live on the same street we never get to see each other because we just have our both really busy schedules well, we have busy schedules and the tend to conflict with each other and honestly although I like Sam a lot We've had so great memories together, like when we've hung out post high school graduation. Uh, his friendship isn't really a priority to me. And not in that I don't uh, value and prioritize my friendships. It's just that not so much his. I have other friendships that I value a little bit more than his. And I make time for more often and readily. But that's not a bad thing. Because not every friend is going to be your best friend. Not every friend you can see once a week. It's just not possible. I don't have the time for that. But we see each other pretty often. And I really like hanging out with him and discussing movies. And he said what is maybe the most succinct description of me ever. I am an introvert that craves the spotlight. And I think that's maybe both a very kind and very accurate description of who I am as a person that he understands that so readily really shows how much he gets me. So, I really value that I got to spend some time with him. It was such a nice uh, circumstance because I almost missed the bus that we both had to catch. So, it was nice. And it was really cool that I got to see him. So one nice thing about having a pretty regular schedule is that uh, my, the bus driver saw me running, saw someone running down the stairs to the gate and you know, the bus is across the street from where uh, I leave my job. So he saw me running down the stairs and then he just saw me, he said, are you waiting on the bus? And then like mouthed it because his window was closed. And then he just waited at the stop sign across the street at the bus stop so that I could run across the street and run like the extra 20 feet to the stop sign. That way I wouldn't have to walk all this way. I mean, I feel like that's a phenomenal thing about uh, riding the bus often having a regular schedule because the bus drivers all kind of know you and they sort of know where you need to go and are more than happy to stop for you if you are polite for them, polite to them and pay and tell them thank you when you get off the bus. Just generally being a somewhat decent human being reaps massive rewards. I went to Impulse today and uh, the topic for the youth group today was pornography. We're talking about common questions that people kind of feel uncomfortable asking. So it was a little bit weird, but um, I'm really inspired by these really great teenagers that I was working with and talking with uh, during the discussion, just five, four girls, and then another girl leader. Um, they're just so courageous and creative and kind and thoughtful. Um, I'm a little bit worried about one, uh, just because I'm not, like, I'm just a little bit worried about one of the girls, you know, two of the girls, but I really want to be there for them and to help them grow up to be the amazing woman that I know that they will be. 